Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Thank you everyone who has uh, recently subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it. And welcome back everyone that's been with me since the beginning. I've thoroughly enjoyed making these videos and I'm uh, really happy to share my whips and my finished items with me. Uh, with you, sorry. Uh, today is whip weekend number 24. And let's start with some whips. First whip I have is a bag o' day uh, item. I um, was cleaning up my yarn room upstairs, well, trying to. It's still a mess. It's going to take a while to clean it all up and get everything nicely put away, uh, slowly but surely. But I came across some uh, Karen Latte cakes. And uh, Crystal Bag O'Day has an amazing shawl slash wrap uh, to work with these uh, latte cakes. And I do have two of them. So I've started that and the pattern is fabulous. It's over six feet long and I'm almost halfway through it. And there is the shawl. The pattern looks awesome. I can't wait till I block it. It'll look fabulous and the latte cakes really are nice and it's so nice and light and um, it'll be fabulous to wear as a shawl when it's done. I really like it. The latte cake that I'm using is color, if I can find it here, upside down, of course. It's called uh, Blueberry Mist. So that's the latte cake there. So um, Crystal said she used two. I don't think I'm going to go as wide as her, but um, we'll see how it progresses along. I'm really enjoying doing that. And I love watching Crystal's uh, videos. They're so easy to follow. And her patterns look so intricate, but it's really not. You can follow it so easily. And it's making a really nice design. So once it's blocked, it'll be more lacy, but I'm really liking it. So that's one of my first whips that I'm doing. Oh, and I've written down her pattern um, as she was uh, showing it so I don't have to keep going back and looking. It's a uh, four row repeat. So I will link the uh, video down below if you wanna go try it out. I'd recommend it, it's really a nice pattern. My second whip is Paige's sweater. I haven't seen her, so I haven't touched the sweater at all. So I didn't think I needed to bring that out again. Um, as you know, I do um, wheelchair lapkins and I'm donating them in December to our uh, senior home up the street. And um, when I'm just riding around with my husband in the car or have a minute, I start another uh, uh, square. So. I need one more square and I've got all these to make another lap gans. So I got another four or five done. These are the colors here that I did. I really like this green color here. And these are all from scraps, either from my tangled yarn or um, leftover from other projects. So one more square and I will be able to join it. I will be joining it with a zigzag and putting a small border around it. These are six and a half inches. So it's about 24 inches. I'm gonna do four across and that will bring it close to uh, 30 inches. And then with a the border, it'll get right to 30 inches. So that's another whip I've been working on. And these I just keep doing whenever. So every week there will be some kind of square. Put that down. And another whip I'm working on is my diamond painting. I was doing a Christmas diamond painting and then I saw one on Amazon last week, which was a Halloween one. And I ordered it. I order all my diamond paintings from Amazon because the shipping from the US is so ridiculously overpriced right now that I'm hoping it goes down one day so I can get some uh, really large uh, diamond paintings, but it doesn't. It doesn't seem to be going down at all lately. So the diamond painting I'm working on now is a Halloween one and it's pumpkins. And I will insert a picture now of the diamond painting so you can see it closer up. And then um, one of my subscribers did not know what diamond painting was. So diamond painting is you get to canvas 
and there's little squares and each square has a number or a, uh, a letter in it and then you take the corresponding little plastic diamond and uh, attach it to that. So I keep mine just in a Tupperware, an old, you know, fast food Tupperware and these are the diamonds. They come in little packets like that and what you do is you have this pen here and you have it's like a gummy um, consistency. It's, I believe, wax. And what the wax does, you you do this and you push it in there and then the wax will stick inside here and it helps you pick up the little plastic rings and then you put them on the corresponding letter or number. So I enjoy doing that in the mornings. I find it very relaxing and I get to watch all my YouTube videos while I'm doing it. So I've switched and this is the one I'm working on and I'm enjoying that. I think the colors are turning out really great on this, very, very bright. So it's got the plastic cut because it's gummy here and that's where it sticks. So I've cut the plastic off the bottom, which I've almost completed and um, it looks great. And it just sparkles like you wouldn't believe. So that's my diamond painting that I've been working on. And my paint by numbers, uh, kind of put it aside because I want to get this diamond one done. I've also, um, with my granddaughter, about a week and a half ago, we uh, made some stitch markers and here's four of them. And, oops, let me turn that one around. On my previous uh, video, I believe it was a yarn haul, um, I've got these up for a, uh, a gift. So if you want to go back and uh, watch that video and put your comment in, this will be a, uh, a gift to someone that I draw. So it's very exciting. So I love doing the uh, crafts with my granddaughter. It's so nice. Her mom is busy and when she's over here and it's just the two of us, all she wants to do is crafts. But my daughter tells me at home she doesn't want to do any. So it's something that I share with her and I'm really happy I do. And she does keep me very busy with my crafts. And my last whip that I'm working on is right here. It is a hat for my granddaughter Paige. And um, it's coming along. It's a three by two rib. And I love the way the colors are turning out. And this yarn was gifted to me from Bella from Crochet Gifts. And I'm just so happy with it. And it's a nice yarns. And it is a Picasso. It's a Picasso yarn. And the color on this is... Let me just see if it has one. I don't see anything. I don't even see a number on this tag. Let me check here. It is a four weight. It's 50 grams. And nope, not even a color on it, but it's acrylic and polyester. So she picked this yarn out herself. So that's the hat I've been working on. And I'm very slow at knitting. I actually went to one of our local yarn stores to see if um, they do knitting lessons because I I can do the hat, I can do the, um, the cowls, but that's it. I don't know how to increase it. I've learned how to decrease to do the tops of the hats and that's it. So I really want to uh, progress in my knitting and hopefully the store will start soon. They're still not doing it because of COVID. And I said, oh, you can't wear a mask and nope. So uh, once they uh, start, I'm going to go take some knitting lessons. So that was my last whip. And this brings me to my finished items. I haven't sewn in the ends. But this is the cowl that I made for Paige with the same yarn. And the colors are amazing. So it's just something that she can put around her little neck and keep her warm in the winter. So that's the, uh, the pair that I'm making there and that's gonna be a Christmas gift for her. But she did pick out the yarn herself. Um, and my second finished item is another baby blanket out of the pattern that I designed. And I did um, two double crochets and then five rows of the V-stitch this time. And the blanket turned out really pretty.
And I do have a baby shower that I'm going to on Saturday. Today's Friday morning. And uh, this will be a gift to uh, the mother-to-be. And I've also made a lovey, which um, it's been made for a while. So I'm happy about that. I'm glad I got it done for her shower. I had another one, but I thought this was more modern looking than the other one. I did make a granny square, the other one with flowers on it. And I thought, oh, this would be more practical for a baby. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other blanket that I made, but uh, we'll see in the future what happens. And my third finished item is the other sock monkey. My uh, granddaughter had asked for a sock monkey and I had made her a pink one. And um, she said, no, no, my sock monkey needs a sibling. She's, she's an only child and um, she's sibling on her mind all the time. But I know her parents don't plan to have another sibling. But um, so I made her uh, another sock monkey. So this is the sibling to the pink one. And she picked out the yarn, the baby blue for this sock monkey. And I gave him a little bit of purple hair on top. So that's my finished item. And what else have I done? Well, I got my tangled yarn. So for the last three nights, I or the last two nights, I have been untangling it. I'm still working on it. I've probably got um, three quarters of it done. And um, I'm working on cream and black. And it's so hard in the evenings to untangle the black. But we're pursuing. And so I've done this in two baseball games. So we've watched a couple games on TV. And I've been untangling your. So here's a picture of all the yarn that I have untangled so far. It's a lot of yarn for $15 and I'm very happy with it. Uh, some of the yarns are worsted weight and it feels like um, Red Heart, but that's fine. And some are, I'm not even sure. I believe they're just mistakes and this is why it's in the tangled yarn that one or two of the plies didn't make it. So I've got a lot of shiny that looks like soft, um, Karen Simply Soft, but it's probably a one or a two weight. And I've got that in the black and in the red. So I thought I'd probably make uh, something out of those. But I'm really pleased. For $15, I've got quite a few hanks. And um, I thought I had a lot of black. But um, when I did my last uh, blanket and I needed black, I went upstairs and the black was navy blue. So that's why I went and got the tangled yarn and I got the black. I usually try and get a lot of uh, different colors, but I needed the black. And it had some cream and some red, so you can't go wrong with those two colors. So that's what I got, and I'm very pleased with how much of Untangled. I know a lot of you hate untangling. I don't mind. I just sit there, take my time, keep it nice and loose, and um, work away on it. My arm was getting sore from uh, hanking it all, uh, not hanking it up, balling it all up, but um, that's okay. And that's it for my finished items this week. I'm so looking forward to tonight. Tonight is my baseball banquet. So we all get all dressed up and we're going to be heading out to a hall on the other side of town. And the husbands are invited and it's dinner and dancing and a few awards were given out. So I'm so looking forward to that. My husband's even taking half the day off today so he can get home. And um, if I need something, he'll uh, help me with it. But uh, got a new dress and um, I'm going to put high heel shoes on and we'll see how that goes. I haven't worn heels in a long time. I think the last time was uh, three years ago when uh, I had my last banquet because of COVID. We haven't done it for a few years. So tonight is um, going to be fun. It's uh, going to be a late night and I don't mind that because uh, we have so much fun. You know, most of the men just sit around and talk and all us women are up there uh, dancing and having a great time. So I'm looking forward to it. And the rest of the weekend, um, it's probably going to be recovering from tomorrow night. So um, I'm not a drinker. I'll have a glass or two of wine at dinner and that's it. So I am designated driver and I'm sure I'm going to be driving a few couples home. But that's okay. I don't mind. I still have a great time. And um, you always have to be safe when you're out nowadays. Not like the good old days when we were teenagers and crazy. <laughs> So um, that's what I'll be doing the rest of the weekend will be recovery probably and uh, just relaxing and staying home. So 
I hope you have a wonderful whip weekend. I will be probably doing some of my whips on uh, Saturday and Sunday because we have no other plans. My parents have gone to um, Florida to visit uh, my aunt, so they'll be there for a while. I uh, had to go over water the plants yesterday, so it gets me out of the house, which I don't mind. And while I was out, I did grocery shopping, so everything's done for this week. And this weekend, um, other than the uh, banquet, no plans. So have a wonderful whip weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.